What's going on guys, this is Zach Miller here again from Miller Media. Today we're doing another review. Today it is on Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Now it says Assassin's Creed 4, but this is actually the sixth installment of the Assassin's Creed series. You have Assassin's Creed 1, 2, 3, and 4, but before this one came out you also had Assassin's Creed Brotherhood and Assassin's Creed Revelation. So this actually makes it the sixth installment. Uh, this one and in case you didn't get it from the title, is Black Flag, meaning that you are a pirate. Um, which, who doesn't love pirates? It's awesome. Great idea for, you know, not only are you an assassin, but you're a pirate. Two of the most ruthless, you know, characters or, uh, you know, people in history. So, awesome combination. Um, there are some iconic famous pirates, Blackbeard being the most famous, uh, so it's pretty cool. The I love the Assassin's Creed games. I don't follow extremely closely to the story. I really don't, I mean, it's interesting, but I don't really care about that. What I care about is the gameplay, and the gameplay on these are awesome. They combine, you know, all of my favorite aspects of video games. You have uh, third person, so you can see everything that's around you. You have fighting which I love hand-to-hand -hand combat. You have swords, which is awesome. You have guns, makes it even better. Uh, you have the hidden blades, the uh, blades that, sh that strap to your wrist and they shoot out. So that's for stealth assassinations, really, really cool. Um, so you just kind of combine a little bit of everything. Um, and especially in this one, they actually integrated some new stuff. Uh, you actually can not pilot, uh, steer a pirate ship and also throw off flaming barrels, uh, fire cannons, and you can also shoot off these, uh, I forget what they're called, but it's basically two balls on a chain connecting the two, and when you shoot them and they you know, hit certain things, they'll wrap around it and tear things up like the sails and the posts that you know, come down or come out of the, the hull of the ship. So you can actually fight other pirate ships or other ships inside the water. Um, so that's really cool. Um, it did get halfway decent reviews. It got like an 8.5, I believe, or something like that. High 8 uh, from IGN. I think that it would have got better score had it not had to compete with its next-gen counterpart, uh, the PS3 and the Xbox 3 ver or Xbox 360 version. Sorry, um, got high 8s. I think that they would have got high 9s had they not com gotten, not had to, sorry, compete. I can't talk today. Can, didn't have to compete with the Xbox One and the PS4 versions of it. Because obviously on the next gen systems, the graphics are going to be better. It's going to run smoother. It's going to, you know, it, it's going to be just better overall, which I, I understand that. But, um, you know, they're doing a lot of these. A lot of these newer games haven't been getting that great of reviews because there's going to be a next gen version and they've already seen the graphics on this next gen version. So obviously you're, it's hard to, you can't compare the two. You have to base them on the graphics for their generation system that they're on and not comparing them to the next generation system, which is obviously going to be a higher quality. Um, now, one thing that I do like about this, especially the, the graphics are still great. I mean, we're living in the best time for video games. The graphics are just, you know, out of this world. It looks so realistic. But the colors on this, guys, are awesome. I mean, you have the bright blues for the sea. You have the bright greens for, you know, the foliage of the trees and the bushes and things like that. Um, almost a brown, brown golden color for the sand. I mean, it's just, it's awesome, guys. The colors are great. They pop. Um, some of the older games, they were, obviously, they're dark-er games because you're an assassin, so there's a lot of death. But that still doesn't mean that you have to use these dull colors. And I think they finally realized that, that, you know, people want to see really bright colors. So, awesome job on that. Um, I haven't played the online yet, but I might do that um, here soon and maybe do another review on the online part. I mean... With this, obviously, you know, with Call of Duty, everybody plays the multiplayer. Well, on Assassin's Creed, most people are playing it for the story. They aren't picking it up for the online aspect of it. Um, so, you know, we'll see about that. Um, one thing that I do like is, obviously, the, uh, and they've done this in past games as well, but your 
outfit is completely customizable. You can buy different outfits and things like that. But what's really cool on this is that you do have a pirate ship and you can upgrade your pirate ship so that you can attack these bigger ships and take more loot from these ships when you destroy them. Um, so you can upgrade your hull, you can upgrade your cannons, um, you can customize the, uh, the sails on your ships to be different colors, um, like you can make them like red or black or and you know you can change that up so that's really cool um, and you can upgrade it's I don't know if you guys remember uh, on Far Cry 3 but you had to get certain amounts of like animal skins or you know you had to pick up different items in order to build new items well it's the same way on Assassin's Creed you know you had in order to carry more ammo you have to uh, you know get kill a so many deer and then their skin can make your pouch for more ammo. Um, one thing that's really cool and this was I wasn't expecting this because I didn't read a whole lot into it I wanted to be surprised when I played this game but you can actually harpoon a bull shark which is really it's actually really cool because you'll swim or you'll uh, sail up next to the shark and the shark you'll have an activation button a, a, uh, so that you can start to harpoon the shark and when you harpoon the shark you're in a little uh, dinghy boat, a little smaller boat and the shark starts to pull you and whenever the shark starts to pull you then you have to harpoon it multiple more times uh, in order to take it down. So it was really cool, it was exciting, it wasn't something I expected. Um, so I haven't beat the game yet, guys. I'm sorry. It's I've been playing Battlefield, trying. To, I I know I ran it on it the other day, but I uh, I've been trying to give it a better chance. I found out some new things uh, on how to make it a little smoother as far as game matching goes, and I'll do a video on that as well um, to help you guys out in case you're having any trouble with it. Even though the next gen versions are going to be coming out here in like a week or two, um, but. So yeah, I've been playing that. I've been meaning to get to this. I've played quite a bit of it, um, but I haven't beat it yet. So uh, I'm still really enjoying it, though. I'm on, this is one game that I'm probably going to play all the way through and uh, and try to get 100% on everything because it's it's a huge, immersive world. So uh, on my standards, I would probably have to give it about a 9.2, 9.3, and um, that's not compared. Sorry, excuse me, guys, sorry. Uh, that's not comparing it, you know, to the other, the next-gen games like these bigger companies have been, you know, rating it uh, against. So, 9 point, I'm going to say 9.3. Great game. I have it for the 360. Um, I'm, I don't know, I'm probably going to play the online version, but thanks for watching, guys. Um, also, in the description, there is a link to Loot Crate. I don't know if anybody knows about Loot Crate, any of you guys watch them, but Loot Crate is a monthly gamer geek nerd subscription service. Every month they send you a box full of stuff that only me and you would like. Uh, and they're just little things. Last month was Survive, and the whole thing was zombie related. And uh, you uh, got like a Walking Dead t-shirt but it was the e walking dead for you star wars fans um it had some 8-bit coins with different survival zombie apocalypse type stuff um it came with a book from max brooks who is the author of uh world war z and it was the so zombie survival guide to the apocalypse different things like that so it's stuff that only me and you would like but i started i subscribed it so here coming in November uh, I will be getting one in the mail and I'll be doing an unboxing for you guys but down look, below there's a link and if you guys decide to subscribe to Loot Crate please click on that link because if you do it through that link I get five dollars towards my next Loot Crate so for every four people that subscribe through me I get a free box and that gives me I guys I don't make money off this yet so this is for you guys um, I don't have any income coming in from YouTube. All my income is from my job. So if you guys can help me out, I can do more videos to where I get to the point where maybe I'm making a little bit of money and I can include, you know, more videos of different things instead of just video game reviews. So uh, keep that in mind. 
Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe below. Um, I got a bunch of replies on about my Battlefield 4 rant, so obviously you guys enjoyed that. Um, but thanks for watching. You guys have a wonderful day. See ya.